You still paint? No, I've, you know, I've done that in a while. I always thought it was kind of cool that you would tap into your feelings by painting. Yeah. Creating a visual representation of all the stuff going on inside you. I'm gonna try and paint you a picture, okay? I started going to this support group for transracial adoptees. They explained this term to me, ghost kingdoms. It's like an alternate reality in your mind where you imagine the life you would have had if you were never adopted. And um, I realized that I've had this ghost kingdom my entire life. I just never had a name for it. Since I never knew who my birth parents really were, I imagined that the nice librarian from the neighborhood library and the black meteorologist on the local news were my parents. The guy we always used to pray to for snow days. Yep. Yeah. And the librarian. She always let you check out more books than you were allowed. She did. They were the only two adults that I consistently saw that looked like me. Now, this group told me that uh, this is a pretty common thing. But back then, I didn't know that. So picture me, Kev. Picture me at five, having the same type of fantasy that a lot of kids have, but thinking I was doing something bad. But I wasn't. I was just going to an imaginary place that was supposed to be just for me. But that's not the full picture. because I could never fully escape into my fantasy. Because I felt too guilty. Because I loved you guys too much. You know, it's actually perfect weather. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, it's perfect weather. Perfect weather for who? For football. Steelers always have an advantage in the snow. Hey, bud, come on. Come here, bud. You're right next to me. I couldn't even create a fantasy world without you guys, Kev. Do you know how unusual that is? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Randall. I'm sorry there were things I didn't see when we were growing up. Sorry, there are things I, I still don't see. You are my brother, and I love you. You're the only brother I'll ever have. You're my best man. didn't die ashamed of you. And the only reason I said it in our fight was because it was a cheap shot. I'm sorry. He was proud of you. I am proud of you. And I'm sorry that I ever let you think of it. Fantastic actor. But I think Miss Palm's right. Comedy is your sweet spot. I know. You gotta do. Something. 